hi, how you doing? It's been a long time. I've just not had any time. It's been stressful, third year kind of scenario. Um, I thought, oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I literally have the most violent sneezes ever. So, <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd get back into it with a really kind of easy video but something that I'm really interested um, in. So basically, um, it's my new skincare routine. So I did a skincare routine video like ages ago. And looking back on it, I was like, why was I using those products? Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with them, but they just weren't, weren't good enough. Anyway, so I've had a shower, washed my hair, put all my oils in it, and I'm just kind of going to show you what I do, because I was just about to do it, and I thought, oh, I'll video it. So I've just exfoliated my face with the Angel's scrub from Lush it's like well the, the Lush that I went to it's the first like naked shop so it's not in tubs anymore so it's just like a bar you just pinch a bit off put put some water with it and kind of like scrub your face it's quite a soft exfoliant so you can like use it every day which I have been I look really really tired I won't use in the shower because it's quite easy um, to use in the shower um, and then I'd come to my little spot right here and the first thing I do is take my Skin Longevity Serum from Bare Minerals. So a lot of you will know that I work for Bare Minerals now and I absolutely love the skincare. Like it's really improved my skin. Um, I'm having like microdermabrasion facials at the moment as well to kind of get rid of the scar in my forehead mainly. Um, just because like when I've got no makeup on, I've not got any spots but the scarring's there. So it kind of looks like I've got spots but I haven't. Um, so it's really annoying. So I'm kind of doing like a six month kind of trial with that to see how I get on with it. I've only had two facials so far, I've got one coming up and already like the scarring's gone down completely. Um, I'll pop a photo in here of what it was before I started the facials. So I'm going to just take a couple of pumps of this. This is literally the most amazing serum I've ever used. Like, I'm not just saying that because I work for Bare Minerals but I absolutely love it. I've got my friend into using it who isn't even really into makeup or skincare at all and her and her mum absolutely love it. Shout out to you travel. Um, yeah so just a few pumps onto your face. Like you can even see already like I look really glowy so I like to put this on obviously every day anyway but especially when I'm not wearing any makeup because it just makes my skin look a little bit brighter. So that's that. The next product I don't think I can show you what I use because it's not out yet. But it's a new moisturiser that's coming out, um, so I'm not going to show you what it looks like. Um, it's, it is another Bare Minerals product. Um, it has SPF 30 in it, which obviously is really important. I think everyone thinks, we're in England, you don't need to protect your skin as much, but you do. So with this one, I like to really massage it into the skin because it's got SPF. It creates like a film, so... I like to kind of really massage that in. Give yourself a bit of a pamper. And if you've got any excess, just pop it on your, under your chin. Never go downwards, because gravity is gonna do its thing and make you go all droopy anyway. So yeah, that's it for serum and moisturizer. And then I'm gonna be really boring and it's another Bare Minerals product, but I'm sorry, it's doing its thing. It's making me look. Flaz hell. No, not really, but it is making me look a bit better. So I'm I'm using the Brilliant Future. That's like really reflective eye cream from um, Bare Minerals. So it's kind of like a pre-anti-aging right now. I know I'm not old yet, but I don't want to get old. So just take a little bit of that on my ring finger and kind of just pop that on. And I like to tap a little bit delicately and just any excess over the top of the eye. Don't want no crepiness. Same again on that. Whoa, the lighting really changed that, I'm sorry. I've got a rubbish set up at the minute. And then just the excess on the top. That's pretty much for skincare. However, every day I do use well, if I'm not wearing any makeup I use this product because it makes me feel better. But I always pop it on at night so that then in the morning I'm tanned. This is just amazing. So people have probably heard about it. You tan and toe. Jamie Genevieve recommended this. Basically anything that I've got is probably recommended by her because well, she's a, she's a queen. Anyway, um, 
let's not get into how obsessed I am with her. Anyway, so yeah, this, this is amazing. So it's um, a coconut tanning water. So it's just like a mist and it tans your face and it doesn't go streaky. It just looks really, really natural. Like I look more tanned than normal. My face is usually really, really pale. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this product. They also put me on their Instagram page quite a while back when I was yeah. I really, really love this product. So all I do is kind of get my hair out of the way and kind of just spritz it like it would be like a setting spray. Like so. You can get that in Super Drug and it's not too expensive. Like it's, sometimes it's on offer for like 15 pounds, sometimes it's, I think full price it's like 18 pounds, but it's amazing. So I've got my fan here from Lost in Tokyo. And yeah, I just kind of give it a bit of a, bit of a fan. Just because that way it kind of like sits into the skin a bit better. And I don't want to be going out of the house looking all wet. So that is actually everything for my daytime skincare. So as you can see, I'm looking a bit more alive. Yeah, I've still got bags, but don't we all? So I'm kind of just going to go quickly into like what I'd use in the evening. So to take the thick of my makeup off, guess what? another bare minerals product um, but this is oil obsessed and um, so it is an oil cleanser and um, but it is you can use it for any type of skin I absolutely love this it just melts your makeup off I just use a couple of cotton pads there and um, I just take all, all my makeup off so sometimes I use one sometimes I don't if I, if I do decide I want to use a, a toner I either use the pixie glow tonic which is amazing but if I want something a little bit more delicate, um, I use the Lizelle toner. Um, this is an instant boost skin tonic spritz, spritzer. Do that, I would then use my Lush scrub. And then, um, from the same Brilliant Future range, I've got the serum. So um, again, it's like pre-anti-aging. Pop a couple of pumps of that into the hand and like massage that in. Um, after I've popped my serum on, I then use a very bougie product. I went to um, Ragdale Spa for my 21st. Okay. I had a facial and they all they used all Declior products. Came to the lady how I'm suff I was suffering like with dehydration and um, a, a little bit of like roughness um, suggested this product which is the Declior Aromasense Neroli Amara. So it's like really hard to say. This um, product is amazing. It was quite expensive so for 50 mils it was 39 pounds. But it's like a balm, so if I just show you that, you just need like a tiny pea size uh, amount to put all on your face. This is amazing, it smells amazing, it does the job. So basically, it eats away at the dead skin cells at night. So I only put it on at night. And then I go in with my coconut tanning water again, just to keep myself nice and bronzed. So. That is pretty much it. That was probably a really, really boring video. I need to sort out my background, but just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. So yeah, that's it. And hopefully in my next video, I'll do something interesting and I won't look so tired. And I'll have nails on because I don't like them at the minute. So yeah, thanks and stay tuned. Bye.